Hey guys, so this is going to be a really boring video of me measuring the runout of the spindle on my Clausing 5428. So when I first got this laid, there was some uh, pretty severe damage to the spindle from some previous owner um, disassembling it with a hammer. And there was a lot of beating marks on the spindle itself. So basically what I did is I took the entire headstock apart. I tried honing off all of the high spots and burrs um, on the spindle by stoning it and then running a cylinder lap over it to remove those high spots and then I reassemble it. I was concerned that either by me honing off those high spots or some other previous damage uh, might have resulted in the spindle being bent or damaged. So, I reassembled everything. I set the bearing preload. Um, the bearing preload is um, uh, very slightly um, higher than what the uh, factory manual recommends. They recommend that you, when you grab the shaft and spin it by hand, it should spin freely about one revolution. Um, if you grab the shaft and spin it by hand, it spins about seven eighths of a revolution so it's slightly um, higher preload than uh, what they call for so looking at the actual measurements here basically what how i interpret all of these readings are mostly just jitter so i am not seeing any systematic um error here um, all the error i they seem to be is jitter or random error and I'm guessing that that is caused by um, the actual bearings themselves. Either the paper rollers might be slightly out of round, or the, the bearings might be slightly worn. But I am not seeing any. I don't really think that there is any systematic error that I'm seeing here. So. Um, here, the indicator is on the rear journal. This is where I had the most concern. And you can see this one here, there's roughly about uh, two to three pence of jitter here. I, I'm glad that there does not seem to be any out of roundness or non-concentric uh, uh, behavior here. So, and now here, this is the outer end. You can see that this was clearly damaged at one point. Either it was dropped or, I don't know, some other um, damage. So you can see here that this is the area where there is the highest amount of um, runout. And so this one here looks like it's almost about five tenths or so of runout. I'm not sure if this is caused by the spindle shaft being um, damaged and the spindle shaft might have been deformed um, or if this is just simply something not that's not really to be concerned about so why don't you guys let me know what you think are these readings anything to be concerned about um, and should I get new bearings and thanks for watching